Native people, Native culture, Native knowledge. Hi, I'm Jeannie Green, bringing you award-winning Heartbeat Alaska. Bringing you national and international Native news, this is award-winning Heartbeat Alaska, the premier Native voice in Native programming. There's a heartbeat loud as thunder Revolution is in the air There's a heartbeat deep inside our mother Are you too cool? Now, with Heartbeat Alaska, here's Jeannie Green. Hello, welcome to Heartbeat Alaska, Native News and Native Entertainment. I'm Jeannie Green, Gary Fife is still on holiday leave, so it's just you and me. We're going to have nothing but fun today, ringing in the new year with Native American and Canadian Native music videos. We begin with the profile on Buffy St. Marie. We hadn't seen her for a while but she seems to be making a comeback in the area of music videos. Here she is now, Buffy St. Marie. Trying to frame Buffy St. Marie's life is like trying to frame a, a flowing river. She's an innovator, a constant crusader, a natural leader, a scholar, and a much sought after lecturer. Her foundation, the Heowan, provides scholarships in many fields for Native people. And above all, Buffy St. Marie inspires. She has shown young people a way. She has shown them a way to keep the voyage true to her rallying cry, to put down the story I have known you were born for glory on your own. I started composing when I was about four, when my parents bought a second-hand piano. Then when I went to college, people encouraged me to sing the songs I'd always sung. We went to New York and sang there, and everything happened. skirt and spiked heels, Buffy never looked the part of a 60s folky. Despite the absence of bare feet and beads, she quickly became known as a gifted songwriter and the voice of protest. Her song, Universal Soldier, became the anthem for the anti-war movement. As the voice of conscience, her music fell victim to political turbulence of the times. She was to face racism, censorship, and blacklisting. Invited to Nashville by Chet Atkins, Buffy scored hits as a country singer and songwriter. Not only did she share the stage with such artists as Marty Robbins, Tammy Wynette, and Johnny Cash, she also shared with them a part of her musical heritage. With the birth of her son, Dakota, Buffy put her recording career on hold and took on a new challenge. She brought her knowledge of customs and experiences of Native North Americans to the children of Sesame Street. Oceans full of fishes, sky is full of stars. Baby, baby, I love you just the way you are, just the way you are, sweet baby, just the way you are. In an incredibly diverse career, Buffy has garnered many accomplishments. Hundreds of great artists recorded her songs. Her talents have been recognized by royalty. And in 1982, Buffy won the Academy Award for the theme song, Up Where We Belong, from the motion picture, An Officer and a Gentleman. Buffy has always kept her heart close to the drum. Throughout her mainstream career, she has celebrated and nurtured the music and traditions of the Native North American peoples. While her work on the reserves has gone largely unheralded by the popular press, it is a labor of love. Hey, baby, I just got back from town. In 1992, Buffy returned to recording with the release of Coincidences and Likely Stories. Her home in Hawaii is both a spiritual oasis and a technological control center where she uses advanced computer technology to record her own projects. Bury my heart in 
Rafi continues to do benefit concerts for indigenous people around the world, taking time out to teach children on both sides of the border, always promoting the power of the drum. She is a multimedia artist, a world visionary, a seeker of justice, and a true guiding spirit. I'm an artist, and my son is now 19. He's an artist, and I have a very, very fortunate life in that I, I'm, I'm multicultural. I live in Canada and in airports and in Hawaii. Uh, I get to spend a lot of time on the reserves and a lot of time in fancy show business places, and I get to do lots of visual art and lots of music and... No, I, I don't know. Things go well for me. I'm a very fortunate person. I think artists have everything going for us in these days, whether we want to stay at home and record, which is how I do it. I made uh, Coincidence and Likely Stories and the new album, Up Where We Belong, at home. Who knows what tomorrow brings In the world you part survive All I know is the way I feel If it's real I keep it alive Up Where We Belong is the song that got me my Academy Award. You know, it was in a movie called An Officer and a Gentleman and Joe Cocker and Jennifer Warrens had a hit with it and I said, oh, so now I got this statue but I'd never recorded the song myself. So we just did a songwriter's version of it, using guitar instead of piano. Everybody likes it. It's real simple. Every day. Love lift us up where we belong. Where the eagles cry on a mountain high. Love lift us up where we belong. From the worlds we know, up where the clear winds blow. It's not as though these are songs that I did a long time ago and forgot. These are the songs that I've taken with me to different countries, different cultures. I've heard them sung in different languages. Other artists, very unlike myself, have taken them into their lives and recorded them and given them back to me. You know, it's a, that's a thrill. He's the one who gives his has a weapon to the war and without him all this killing can't go on he's the universal soldier and he really is to blame but his orders come from far away no more they come from him and you and me and brothers can't you see this is not the way we put an end to war. Also on the new album, uh, uh, it's basically a retrospective. It has the songs that people ask for in concert the most, like Until It's Time For You To Go, you know, which was a big hit for a lot of people, Elvis and Barbara Streisand and a lot of other people. Um, a Universal Soldier, and Donovan had had a hit on that, and Glen Campbell. Things that people would know, like the Pineywood Hills, Now That the Buffalo's Gone, Star Walker, Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee, the songs that people like to hear in concert. And then it has a couple of new ones, one called Dance Me Around, and another one, which I like very much, called Darling Don't Cry. Darling, don't You know, there was a time when uh, black music uh, was not heard by mainstream radio listeners. And then along came rhythm and blues, you know, and black music and pop music. You know, here it is. It's everywhere. And, um, you know, the music of Native Canada, it's a national treasure. And to be able to bring it into the world of pop, which is so widely heard, I think, hopefully is going to be meaningful not only to the listeners, but also to the incredible wealth of Native artists who are out there who are starting to record. There are a lot of Native 
people who've been good for a long time and they're starting to come to light. And it doesn't mean that we're trying to change anything, it's just that many of these people are very good at, uh, at this kind of bicultural treatment and a lot of people in audiences love it, so why not? It is with sincere appreciation and immense respect for her accomplishments that the Academy welcomes Buffy St. Marie into the Juno Awards Hall of Fame. Contact Heartbeat Alaska with your news. Heartbeat Alaska, 5861 Arctic Boulevard, Unit B, Anchorage, Alaska, 99518. That's Heartbeat Alaska, 5861 Arctic Boulevard, Unit B, Anchorage, Alaska, 99518. Or give us a call at 1-907-563-7440 or fax us at 1-907-563-9309. Heartbeat Alaska, your news is our news. We like some more of this woman. She's from Canada. Her name is Susan Aglucart. Here she is with OCM.
another popular Canadian native artist, Tom Jackson. Here he is with No Regrets. As lovers were smoldering sweet grass Stopped only to kiss you and I Through the smoke rising upwards I saw your face Nobody knows where we're going We ain't made any wrong turns yet When the darkness falls I will hold you to my chest Smiled when we parted And cried when we travel to the lower 48. Have to include a rap song once in a while. Here's Boys from the Res. Let the word go forth from this time and place to friend and foe alike that the torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans born in this century, tempered by war, disciplined by a hard and bitter peace, proud of our ancient heritage, and unwilling to witness or permit the small undoing of those human rights to which this nation has always been committed and to which we are committed today at home and around the world. Anybody have any questions on this unit? 
If not, you're excused. program Heartbeat Alaska 1996 with music videos that you've enjoyed in the past please continue to call and I love it when you write and when you fax me information on your tribe in your reservation Gary Fife will be back with us in a few weeks I'm Jeannie Green wishing you well God bless you and I hope 1997 is the best year for you yet it's going to be for us because you'll be right there watching Heartbeat Alaska.